welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example, we're going to look the property over rhombus. And look at here, this is the definition of a rhombus. Rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. And I'm going to use this grid here to draw a rhombus. So I'm going to show you a couple tricks here. For, okay, so let's say this is point A. Okay, and I want to draw a rhombus. I would suggest you to go five to the right. And then, in order to get the congruent side, I'm going to say go three right, four up. And if you ask yourself why, eh, that size would be five if you use the diagram. Then five more this way, and then go back. And ladies and gentlemen, this is almost all these sides are congruent, right? And that's an easy way to draw a rhombus. We have another one here. Okay. What are the properties of a rhombus? Eh? First of all, I want to emphasize something. Rhombus is a parallelogram. So, so all properties of parallelograms are working here, which means opposite sides are congruent, which we know it. These angles are congruent, opposite. Consecutive angles are supplementary and diagonal bisect each other. These are the property that goes with a parallelogram. So all this property works for a rhombus. But what is the extra property? So let me clean this stuff here and look at here. We have two more properties. One is the diagonal are perpendicular. Yeah, this is the extra. I'm going to put here extra. Right? Uh, AC perpendicular on BD. That is a property of the rhombus. And then you, you notice we have some angles here. One, two, three, four. All these angles are congruent. Right? Uh, yeah, that diagonal AC bisect angle A and C. But that is true also for these angles. So 5, 6, 7, and 8. All these angles are congruent. And obviously, the measure of this angle is the same. These are the extra property of the rhombus. But one more time, don't forget the rhombus is a parallelogram, so we have also the other property. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back and C squared for more help. Thank you.